Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Uh, has now dropped out of the Democratic primary for president and is running as an independent. And he is, as I've noted, a horrible candidate. He is a conspiracy theorist in all these different dangerous ways. And it didn't make sense as to why he was running as a Democrat. He was supported by all these right wingers. We'll talk about how uh, maybe this is something that even some Republicans are now not loving the idea of because an independent, if he's doing all these conspiracy theories and public appearances, could he bring some right wing voters from Trump? But obviously, as I've talked about, the independent run, him as a candidate, I don't like, so I don't want him to run at all. And also, the fear of someone who's running as a Democrat is now running as an independent. In theory, that typically threatens more the Democrat if he was just running as a Democrat, even though this situation is so different. But either way it goes, I don't love uh, his candidacy in the Democratic Party or as an independent. But he had a campaign event that just went so wrong, so horribly, terribly, awfully wrong um, as he was trying to make this announcement. It was a big announcement event, right? And <laughs> look at how it all started, okay? He's coming on stage and, well, you'll see. I need my speech. Uh, you, can, you can't read anything. You can't read anything. What? Yeah. It, it, it's, it's upside down. It's upside down. It's upside down. So, for my podcast listeners, let me quickly explain. He walks out on stage. He has a mic on his face, as well as the mic that he's walking up to and so that allows for us to hear his reaction to observing the fact that apparently the teleprompter <laughs> was upside down the words were upside down that's just funny um that's a sign from the universe <laughs> robert you shouldn't be doing this um and so then he's freaking out trying to figure out how he's going to proceed which that's a big technical error not having the teleprompter working correctly. Oof. Um, but then here is the kind of big announcement. At hotels and malls on the street, and they remind me that this country is ready for a history-making change. They are ready, they are ready to reclaim their freedom, their independence. And... So prosecute Fauci, as he said. <laughs> That's the solution. Then we'll be free. Saw that and, I thought, Is that an and that's why I'm here today. I'm here to declare myself an independent candidate. So again, for my podcast listeners, it starts with him unable to actually start the speech because of the uh, teleprompter. And then the cameras are being blocked by signs now. So you can't even see them in this particular shot. So there is that. Um, I, I really don't know who shows up to an RFK Jr. Uh, campaign event rally. He's such a strange political figure as we think of a political spectrum and trying to put supporters of his on that spectrum. Because you have this right-wing support for him, and he has his conspiracy theories that attracts them, but then he also ran as a Democrat and said some nominally Democratic things. Who's being attracted by him? I don't know. Um, I can tell you who's not me. And also, his own siblings. Whoa, that's crazy. I uh, hear from The Guardian. Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s siblings condemn his perilous presidential campaign. Rather brave to come out against your own brother. Uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s run for the White House as an independent candidate is perilous for the United States, sibling said in a statement on Monday, immediately following their brother's campaign launch in Philadelphia. And here is the statement on X. Statement on Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s announcement today. The decision of our brother Bobby to run as a third-party candidate against Joe Biden is dangerous to our country. Bobby might share the name as our father, but he does not share the same values, vision, or judgment. 
Today's announcement is deeply saddening for us. We denounce his candidacy and believe it to be perilous for our country. Again, credit to them for doing this. That is brave, coming out against your own brother. But they're right. And I know there is a chance his conspiracy theories and all that could take away more from Trump. And some people are speculating maybe Republicans are freaking out now because that could happen. But first of all, we'll need more polling to know how that's going to play out as we get closer. And right now, this is not something that's been polled on, uh, at least by the polling institutions I'd want to see it from. And so we need to see that. But also, regardless, if there's even a shot because of his name, because of his previous run as a Democrat, that he could siphon more away from Biden, then this is perilous for the country, as his sibling said. This is dangerous because of the threat that's posed by Donald Trump. And any candidacy that risks taking away votes, essentially helping the candidacy of Trump, is putting the future of American democracy and so many crucial aspects of um, America in peril. So credit to his siblings. Now, this is not his only family member that has called him out um, and denounced his candidacy. John F. Kennedy, uh, his grandson, so the cousin of Robert F. Kennedy Jr., came out in a video a few months ago saying this. Hi, I'm Jack Schlossberg, and I have something to say. President John F. Kennedy is my grandfather, and his legacy is important. It's about a lot more than Camelot and conspiracy theories. It's about public service and courage. It's about civil rights, the Cuban Missile Crisis, and landing a man on the moon. Joe Biden shares my grandfather's vision for America, that we do things not because they are easy, but because they are hard. And he is in the middle of becoming the greatest progressive president we've ever had. Under Biden, we've added 13 million jobs. Unemployment is at its lowest in 60 years. Biden passed the largest investment in infrastructure since the New Deal and the largest investment in green energy ever. He's appointed more federal judges than any president since my grandfather. He ended our longest war. He ended the COVID pandemic and he ended Donald Trump. These are the issues that matter. And if my cousin, Bobby Kennedy Jr. cared about any of them, he would support Joe Biden too. Instead, he's trading in on Camelot, celebrity, conspiracy theories, and conflict for personal gain and fame. I've listened to him. I know him. I have no idea why anyone thinks he should be president. What I do know is his candidacy is an embarrassment. Let's not be distracted. An embarrassment. Again, by somebody's vanity project. Mm. I am excited to vote for Joe Biden in my state's primary and again in the general election. And I hope you will too. Hi. Whoa. So it's a whole lot of family members saying we do not support this guy. Again, credit to them. Because that is, even if I have no idea the relationship of um, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., and his uh, family members as of now, probably not great, but no matter, still uncomfortable and daring to go out and say this publicly about someone who is in your family. And they're putting country first and saying, listen, we need to make sure we don't allow for any threats to our democracy through a hypothetically successful Trump candidacy. And that's what Robert F. Kennedy threatens uh, to do, or Junior, Robert Kennedy Jr. threatens to do. And so we'll see how the polling comes out on this. Maybe he's kooky enough to not attract Democratic voters. But again, as we sit here today, that's a risk. And that's why his own family members are denouncing it. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show and the bonus show on the weekends, you can do so by going to LukeBeasleyShow.com slash membership. That's LukeBeasleyShow.com slash membership. And there's a link in the description.